During today's conference on the lessons of the economic crisis for Latvia and the Eurozone, it was pointed out the achievements of the Baltics in overcoming the economic crisis show that there are three pillars for stability and growth – fiscal and monetary policy as well as structural reforms. The events of the last week uh, and also of this week have reminded us how fragile the recovery uh, in Europe and um, in some other countries have been and the monetary stimulus alone uh, cannot do the job. I do really hope that the policy makers will not waste the time and we will not slip in the crisis in order to realize that we need to do more in order to safeguard this fragile recovery. Speaking about structural reforms, member of the executive board of the European Central Bank Benoit Coré revealed that very important is the speed in which these reforms are implemented in various sectors simultaneously. The aim of the structural reforms is not internal devaluation, but to facilitate productivity. When uh, looking at the, uh, at the effectiveness and the design of structural reform, uh, initial conditions matter enormously. Uh, we've been through a major financial shock that have left us with a set of initial conditions uh, that, an, that can only be worked through uh, through a set of policies uh, that act both on the supply side and on the demand side uh, of the economy. That is structural reforms primarily with monetary support and with fiscal support when available. Um, key to the effectiveness of these structural reforms is that they are fast to avoid uh, triggering a disinflationary process uh, and that they focus on productivity as well as on uh, competitiveness. The president of the German central bank, Jens Weidmann, points out that one of the challenges of national economies within the Eurozone are structural problems, which have a negative impact on competition, innovations and productivity. In solving structural reform problems, the growth potential of the Eurozone would see a substantial rise. When looking at the future, experts emphasize that it is necessary to avoid rapid prosperity cycles. Galvenais tiešām turpāk īstenojošo ekonomisko politiku ir saprast, ka ekonomiska parasti attīstās cikliski, līdz ar to šiem uzplaukuma un pieauguma fāzēm parasti seko arī ekonomiskās aktivitātes samazinājuma kritums un līdz ar to, jo lielāku mēs panākam šo izaugsmi uzplaukuma fāzē, jo lielāks risks, ka tā sekojošais kritiens un sekojošās apbremzēšanās ar būs diezgan liela, un to jau mēs redzējām arī Latvijas gadījumā. The international conference Have We Learned Anything from the Crisis gathered academics and economic policy experts to discuss the lessons of the crisis, while at the same time paying special attention to opportunities in strengthening and regaining the macroeconomic balance as well as the responsibility of Eurozone members.